Breaking. Biden's ministry of truth is over. The Biden administration recently announced the creation of a disinformation governance board meant to regulate speech on the internet. After much criticism, the board has officially been put on hold and the head of the board, Nina Jankovic, has resigned. Just three weeks after the board was introduced to the public, vocal opponents of the DGB criticized it as an Orwellian censorship tool. Conservatives pretty successfully relabeled it as Biden's ministry of truth in honor George Orwell's classic and creepily accurate novel. 1984, the controversial head of the board, Nina Jankovic, drafted her own resignation but seemed to leave some possibility of returning to the post. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre said the reason for the pause was that the board suffered from mischaracterizations from outside forces. In other words, the administration believes that the disinformation board was overwhelmed by disinformation. Watch the press secretary explain. In that period, but the departments work across several administrations uh, to address disinformation that threatens uh, the security for our, our country is critical and will continue. So that work is going to continue. So, so if it's pausing because you think the board was mischaracterized, then the disinformation board is being shut down because of disinformation? Is that what's happening here? Look, I mean, the, the board was put forth for a purpose, right? To make sure that we really did, a, a, uh, really did address what was happening across the country when it came to disinformation. It's all. But no, it's, it's just going. It's it's going to pause. There's been a mischaracterizations from outside, uh, outside forces, and so now what we're going to do is going to we're going to pause it and we're going to do an assessment. But the work does the work doesn't stop. We're still going to continue the work. The DHS is still going to continue the work. Okay. There's a bulletin now.